Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Anathelia and today we're going to be unboxing and flipping through the Flowers and Feelings Oracle from the Moon Witch Oracle deck. I got this from Cosmic Valeria on Etsy and it runs 50 right now. Came out in 2023 and I believe it's a fairly new release. I hadn't seen it before and once I saw it, I jumped on it because I have the Moon Witch Oracle deck, which I am obsessed with and... Uh, I use pretty frequently. I've used it for about six months now. And um, you can see the similarities in the illustrations on this, especially in the human that's featured on here. But the main difference is like all of this that's going on. There's a really strong emphasis on uh, flora and fauna. And when we flip to the back, it explains, immerse yourself in the magical world of the moon witch created in a garden Flowers and Feelings Oracle Deck was inspired by legends across the world and the profound knowledge found within the petals, stems, and hearts of nature's most delicate creations. So there's a lot of history that goes into these cards, and there's a lot of meaning behind them. I flipped through this guy. This is a really high quality... Uh, meaning book what is I can't think of the name guidebook um and it's not just paper you guys I have a lot of oracle decks and they're all just paper this is like I don't know what it is but it's like really high quality paper it's like slick I've never felt that in an oracle deck before so it's really exciting to have such high quality paper um there is like a whole thing for like each Okay, so for each explanation, for each card, there is, like, the main explanation. There's the meaning. And then there's, like, a little recipe of what you can make. Like a summer flower wreath, hibiscus bath for creativity. They added so much journaling prompts for balance. Like, they added so much detail into this guidebook. And it just, I'm going to have to read through it because I love, you know, getting to the deeper meaning of the card and like creating a bunch of associations with it and really appreciating all the work that went behind this deck. So let's get into it. Let's flip through. Oh, so this is actually like my second or third time trying to do this for you guys because my camera was ever so slightly out of focus the first time and now it's like look at that look at that gold foil oh now it's like in focus so first of all the back of each card has that gold foil where the stars and the moon are so that's beautiful it's got a gold foil edging very beautiful very sparkly gorgeous gorgeous obsessed so let's go card by card and let's analyze this deck. Let's appreciate this deck. So the first card we have is Lotus, the ever-present beauty of growth and transformation. Number two, snowdrops. Keep your eyes open for a miracle. Three, cosmos, divine orgasm. Your work is paying off. Four, Daisy. Every day is a new beginning. Don't be afraid to give yourself everything you've ever wanted. I love that we feature adults, children, different shapes and sizes, different colors. Like, I feel like that's kind of expected in 2023. Like, you want a diverse deck. But I'm also seeing diversity in the colors of the cards. So, if you have the Moon Oracle or the, the Moon Witch Oracle, most of the cards just look like this. It's like a black background, and then the main focus is in the front. And, like, this, you would never see this in the Moon Witch Oracle. Like, you would never see this. Like, so much brighter and more, like, color is being added into this deck, which I really appreciate. Number five is Honeysuckle. Bloom. Spill your nectar. Show others the way. Number six. Yarrow, you are your own healer. 
Number seven is delphinium. Don't be afraid to jump in. Number eight is jasmine. You are a creative portal. Number nine is dianthus. Here is the divine sign that you have been waiting for. Number 10 is borage. You were wild once. Don't let them tame you. Number 11 is pink orchid. You are a rare bloom, one of a kind. Your presence is a gift. Number 12, bee balm. Rest, dear. Plant your seeds. Number 13 is rose. The sacred feminine urge to turn into a flower. Number 14 is Rosemary. You are protected. Number 15 is Siberian Cedar. Ancestral healing pattern breaking. Number 16 is Peony. Compassion is always the key. Number 17, huh, Ivan Demaria? Magic is all around you. Are you willing to look? Number 18, hibiscus. Flower needs sunshine to bloom. The soul requires creativity and passion. So true. 19, valerian. You have been preparing for this for many lifetimes. Number 20 is basil. There are no limits to what you can and will achieve. Number 21, Kayla Lily. The key is not to conquer the chaos, but to find the peace within. Number 22, Lilac. What do you see with your eyes closed? Number 23 is Marigold. Good things take time enjoy the process. Number 24 is dandelion. It is time to go after what you truly want. Number 25 is Tulsi. Tulsi is like my favorite plant. <laughs> Thousand invisible hands support your journey. Number 26, Lavender. You have been blessed by fairies. Number 27 is Nettle. If you are not getting stung, you are not taking big enough risks. Dare to dream bigger. Number 28 is Cacao. You were never meant to face the world alone. Together we can do great things. Number 29 is Sunflower. Your heart is made of gold and sunshine. You are stronger than you think. Number 30 is Rowan Tree. Slow down. Embrace your feminine side. Number 31, Henbane. You are a witch. Embrace your shadow for it holds the key to your light. Number 32, fly agaric. You do not be afraid of the dark and enchanted forest. Number 33 is deadly nightshade. If you ask, it shall be given. Number 34 is poppy. Opportunities are all around you. Don't be afraid to jump between the realms. Number 35 is Flora. Nurture the things you want to see grow. Number 36, Astara. Embrace the seasons of life. Each one holds its own unique beauty. 37 is Lada. Seek beauty, dance, embrace the pleasures of life. Number 38 is Iris. You are ready. 
Number 39 is Vesna. Stay curious, let the unknown lead you to new adventures. And finally, we have 40, Mokosh, Ancestral Guidance. You are never alone. Beautiful, guys. I am so excited to start using this deck, to start playing with it, using it for personal readings. And I hope you guys found this helpful. Like I said, this runs for 50 on Etsy, Cosmic Valeria. And I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.